Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite Suite Success for Agencies. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to allocate and assign resources to a project and how those resources can log time and expense against a project in NetSuite for Agencies. As you can see on the top right corner, I'm currently logged in as my resource manager's role. And to the left on my reminders portlet, you can see that we have three new projects that require resources allocated to it. I'm going to use our resource allocation grid to assign the appropriate resources to this project. As you can see, this project currently only has generic resources assigned to it. I'm going to replace those generic resources with named resources. First, I'm gonna click on the hours besides the generic resource to view the hours dialog box. Here, I can view all the details about the resource that needs to be allocated. And if I click on the magnifying glass, I can set my criteria to find a specific resource. Now we see a list of appropriate resources with their availability and labor costs, which will help me choose the best fit for this project. When I replace the generic resource with Abby Kwan, this color-coded bar will help me understand whether we are over or under utilizing her for that period of time. If needed, I can change the start date by moving the bar on the chart and clicking save. Now I'll utilize my favorites bar to look at an allocated versus actual hours by resource report. And here we can see a list of available resources allocated versus actual hours by that resource. Next, let's switch roles over to Abby Kwan. As Abby is working on tasks for the different projects she's been assigned to, she'll want to log her time. She can do this from the dashboard and open up her weekly timesheet. She can log hours as she works or enter all of her time for the week at once. She can also import the uh, time she's been assigned and make corrections as needed for greater efficiency. When she saves this timesheet, the time will appear as actuals on the project so the project manager can track the budget versus actuals. Abby is also traveling for this project and incurring expenses, so she'll need to submit an expense report too. Abby can enter her expenses here and attach a receipt. The expense report can then be routed to the project manager for approval. Now let's switch over to our project manager role to see the impact of these timesheets and expenses that have been entered against the project. Right on the dashboard, we could see the immediate impact of the work being completed against the portfolio of work. This will include the percentage complete by schedule, the budget burn rate percentage, as well as the billing burn rate percentage. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.